Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to use your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller that I got right here and your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons to use actually with SAMU and play any game that supports motion control. And I know this as well, the PS4 controller, I have it here as well, supports motion control as well, but that's going to be for another video because we're going to, be going to use another program. And with anything for do guys, let's hop directly to my desktop and let me show you how to set up and play motion control with your Nintendo, Pro, Nintendo Switch Pro controller and, and your Joy-Cons. Joy Alright, as we are on my desktop right now guys, we're going to need two files for this tutorial. first file is Better Joy and the second one is SimiHook. So now the sites for those two programs guys are here. This is SimiHook and when you're downloading it, download this one. And for the Better Joy program guys, go for this one here. I'm going to leave the link in the description below and I'm not going to download the programs because I already have them. So the first thing we're going to need to do guys is to connect our pro controller actually but we're not going to do that now we could but we're going to not actually the first thing we're going to do guys we're going to actually install semi-hook if you don't in have installed semi-hook um, i'm going to show you how to do it we navigate to your semi folder i have it in my documents it is it's the, it's the recent one it's, don't uh, pay attention to the folder so it always updates automatically so what you're going to need to do take semi fold semi hook Put in your SAMU folder, right click, 7-zip, extract here. Because I have it already installed, and I'm going to only show it to you, it's going to show me like that. But if you never have installed it, it's not going to show you that. Yes to all, there it is. After you have uh, extracted it in, you're going to see those, those files here. Just go, then then just go to SAMU hook folder and install it, uh, delete it, sorry. And close uh, your SAMU folder. Now for the better joy guys, just do the same thing. 7-zip and extract file instead of extract here and you will have it like this i'm not going to do it twice because it's going to interrupt and uh get, get you're going to get some errors if you have it duplicated uh just delete after that the folder have it extracted i'm going to put it here double click on it go to the folder go to drivers and install vg vhm bus setup just like that next and of course, as I told you guys, because I already did it, it's show me those options. But for you, first time installing the program, it's not going to show you anything. Finish and you're done. And keep the folder because you're going to use it. This is the program itself, but you have to install the, the driver for it to work. So after you have, we have installed the semi hook, we have put in it to our semi folder and we have better joy. We have to install the driver and we have the folder. Just put it like there somewhere. Now the next thing is, guys, the third thing is we're going to need, we're going to install, uh, install. We're going to connect or pair our Nintendo Pro Controller. So what you need to do to able to connect it is... Hi there. So this is your Pro Controller, right? You are connected. So what you need to do to to get, to get it into pair control into pair mode, right? Is right here, guys. Is a little button on your controller. You probably know that, but for those who doesn't know, here where the triggers are, there's little sorry, there's little button here. Just hold it like that. Oh, sorry, I didn't press it right. There we go. So hold it. Let's does this. So let's blink. Then give me a second. You navigate to your bloaters. Go to settings here. To go to bloaters and other devices. Add bloaters device and go to bloaters. And you see it's gonna show up. Joy con. This is my Joy Cons. We're not we're not gonna use those. We need the Pro Control to show up. Sometimes it doesn't show up. It happens time to time but i hope it's gonna work it's it's supposed to show oh there we go shows up click on it and you see it says set up as device and it's set up and ready to go here it's connected close that and you're good to go now the next thing we need to do guys need to next step to do is to navigate to better joy and what i always do what i always do is to Pin it to this bar, uh, to program itself. Uh, I'm gonna show you actually one, one more time. This one here, better joy for Simu XE. Pin it to this bar, guys. Click on it. You should hear like a connection sound. Ding, ding, ding. No. Then, if the application doesn't show up here, yeah, there it is. It's gonna show, it's gonna give you this application here. 
better joy and it shows you the connected controllers if you click on the locate your controller gonna vibrate hold up let me actually switch the scene here see my C you see it's 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 vibrating and it sounds like that that means you have connected your controller um, successfully close the program it will be right here and you can maximize it if you click on it so let's switch again now to see here so what we need to do now guys is to hop to simu just like that go to option go to gamepad motion source uh, select the first uh, wireless one that you're gonna see and then by slot see if i this have yeah one two this is for the motion control by the way guys then you go to input settings you're gonna select view gamepad x input and controller one i see and then you map your controller as you want to and you save it then i uh then we can actually start the legend of zender breath of the wild and uh, let me switch a scene actually as well 